this is Lisa Michelle and I want to help you make money online and in this video I want to show you three ways that you can upload your or I'm sorry three ways that you can deliver your digital products to your customers because I do get a fair number of questions about you know how do I deliver this digital product to my customer so let's go ahead and get started so the first way is if you have an Etsy shop uh, I'm going to show you other ways you know if you don't have an Etsy shop but let's assume you've got an Etsy shop for now the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and list the products. I'm going to add a listing. This is a, a dummy account, so I'm not going to actually publish it, but I'll just show you how we can deliver it this way. All right, so we'll just go ahead and just complete this normal listing. The item that I'm using as a uh, as an example today is it's a self concept workbook. Now, in this area, the title you definitely want to do your keyword research. You don't want to just put in, um, you know, just random terms. You want to make sure that uh, you're using keywords that people are actually searching for to find your type of product. So I'm just, this is just for an example. For the photos and video, you definitely want to add as many photos as you can so that the customer knows exactly what they're getting and they know how they can use it, you know, seeing it in an actual mock-up. So right now we're just going to go ahead and just add a couple of uh, just just photos that I just downloaded just for the example. All right, so we'll have something here, and then you can just play around with the picture so you have the right one as your thumbnail, and that'll be the one that people will see when they're you know searching um, for a product in Etsy. All right, so you can play with that. For description, you want to put in, you know, what the item is. Um, I, can't, I can't type today. Uh, how people can use it or who it's for. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. And, and you may want to put the size here. Maybe the format and you want to maybe explain other products that you have in your shop in case they may be interested. You can put here that it's a digital product and that they won't receive a physical product. And once you have this whole thing filled out, what I would do is just kind of copy it and paste it into maybe a Google doc. So if you're selling every time you do a listing of a digital product, you can just kind of copy and paste it and then just revise it for that particular item. But you don't want to have to type this description in every time you do a listing, because that's time consuming. So $2.99, quantity, $200. Um, I'll put in this example, let's put a template. You do the color, tags, you want to fill in as many of these attributes as you can. Of course, always use 13, tags here again using your keyword research I use Everbee for my keyword research and I can leave a link to that here in case you want to check that out um, no not here I'll leave it in the description in case you want to check that out there's no shop section okay so all of that is done but yeah you want to definitely fill um, all this stuff in so now I just want to upload my um, file, digital file. Okay. So right here, we're going to add the PDF. And again, this is for people who are just going to go ahead and buy this workbook, print it out, or, you know, and, and call it a day, right? There's no editing going on. They don't have to go into Canva to add anything to it. It's already completed. All right. So that's, that's the easy way. Now, let's say I wanted people to be able to make changes to the workbook, right? You want to make it editable. In that case, what I would do is create a different PDF to upload into Etsy so that once they get it, they can click on a link and go to Canva to make the changes. Okay, so let me show you what I mean. So in Canva, I have this document. It's basically just download instructions. And even though this is a template, um, 
what I would do is hold on one sec. Let me zoom in. This is the document that the person would get, right? If they want to be able to make changes to that workbook, or I want them to be able to make changes to the workbook, I would actually upload this as my document in in um, Etsy. So when they make their purchase, this is what they get. Why? Because I can go to the actual um, document that I'm trying to share and well, I'll go ahead and select it. And then I'll go ahead over to where it says share. And then you want to make sure that you grab the template link, because if you grab one of these links up here where it says anyone with the link can view or edit, if you say anyone else with the link can view it, they're viewing your actual document. And if you say that anyone with the link can edit, they're editing your actual document. So you want to make sure you click on this template link right here, create the template link, click on copy. And then we're going to go back to our um, download instruction document. And then you want to add the link here. All right. So we're going to make sure we ungroup it. Click on this, um, the three dots here, click on link, and then we want to paste that link here and then click on done. And then I would just delete these other two boxes because it's only one product. So that when they make their purchase, they'll get this document. And then when they click here, they'll be taken to the workbook. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. So since it's only one product, I can delete that. And then here, you know, if I had two other products, I would just leave that there. But what they'll receive is a self concept workbook. Here you can share some of your other products. Um, these are just images I'm just throwing in here. Okay. What's that? Okay. And then you can just kind of highlight other products that you have in your shop. Okay. And then down here, you can ask them to follow you on social media and you can just add in your account links here. Right. So I'm just going to put in Pinterest.com for that. And then I will just download this as a PDF. Okay. Download the PDF. It's two pages. So now instead of the PDF that I was going to send before, I would just add this, this document and what did I, what did I call it? Okay. All right. So that when they open this, so let's say we, they placed an order, right? With Etsy, um, they paid it and they have access to the product. Once they open it, they're going to get the PDF. All right. And this is what they'll get. So then they'll see this. Hello. And thank you. Click below to get your product. They'll click on it and they'll be taken to Canva. Now, if they don't already have a Canva account, they'll be prompted to open a Canva account. Okay. So there we are. So they can make changes to this. They can add what they want to make, but they, they can add what they want to add to that. Okay. See. All right. So that's what they'll get. All right. So if they're going to make edits to their documents, that's one way that you can share it. And I meant to show you, um, you know, if you click on this link, remember we put added the um, Pinterest link. I forgot to show you that when I downloaded it, but when they click on that, whatever you hyperlinked, they'll be able to click on it and be taken to your um, social media pages as well. Okay. All right. So that is that way. Um, I'm trying to think of other questions that I get about delivering products on Etsy. So if they're not making any changes, you can go ahead and just upload the PDF directly into, um, into Etsy. Even if they are making changes, 
you can still go ahead and upload the document that I showed you, the download template that I showed you. This one, you can just upload this into Etsy and they'll get an, a, a link that they can click on to be taken to Canva where they can make changes to the document. All right. The next way is to sell your digital products on a website like Payhip. So Payhip is basically um, like a website or an online store where you can sell digital or physical products, you know, depending on the plan that you have, um, they're going to take out a certain percentage of your um, sales. I'm just trying to show you that. So right here is, hold on, it's zero dollars a month and they'll take 5% of your transactions. But if you want to pay either $29 a month or $99 a month, the transaction fees are only 2% or there's no transaction fee at all. So you just kind of, so it's not really free because they do take a percentage of your sales, but there's no monthly payment if you just want to say, okay, take 5% of my sales. All right. So you can set up the store, you can customize it however you like. Um, you can set up your billing so that you are paid through either PayPal or Stripe. You can do that here. If you want to add taxes to your product, you can set the taxes up here. You can arrange how you, however you want to do your shipping if you're selling physical products. And then there are different notifications here. You can limit the number of downloads for each file. And you can also stamp the PDF files with your um, customer's email address. So I click on this example. You'll see that when they make the purchase on the top of each page, let me just zoom in they'll have their email address. So that's one way to kind of deter people from just sharing your digital products with the whole world. And if you are, you know, following your analytics using Google analytics, you can add your ID number here. And if you're going to run Facebook ads, you can put your Facebook pixel here and there's just other checkout settings. So you can redirect them to a website when they complete checkout. So let's say they make a purchase of that workbook that we were talking about. Once they successfully complete the transaction, I can send them to my Etsy shop so they can see the other products that I have. And you can just, you know, just kind of customize this however you want your shop to look with a logo and all that kind of stuff. All right. So PayHip is, is a, it's not a bad option. All right. So let's go up here to products and this is another, um, kind of test site, but we're going to go ahead and just add a digital product. And it's the same here, right? The same thing we did with, with uh, Etsy. If you just want to go ahead and just upload the workbook so that, you know, they can't make any changes, they can just get it and print it out and call it a day. That's fine. You put your description here of the product. Um, there are different advanced options of whether or not it's tax exempt as an ebook. Some of the same things that we talked about in the previous section. Do you want to subscribe them to a mailing list? I will definitely suggest you do that. And let's see. So I'm going to upload the actual product file. And that would be the whole journal. And um, yeah, it's, it's really as simple as that. Once the shop is set up, adding products here is very, very simple. All right, so that is it. You can see the product page and it's set up. So once they make a purchase, they'll go ahead and get your product, right? But again, if you wanted to have them make edits, right, to the workbook, make changes to it or whatever, you would still want to upload that same template because this way, once they get in, they'll get that same link that'll take them to the product in Canva and they'll be able to make the changes that way. All right. So either way you can use PayHip if you're not selling on Etsy or you can use Etsy and still do it the same way. All right. So the last way is using um, Google Drive. All right, so we'll go to the product and what you want to do is click on it. No, 
All right, go to share. And what you want to do is give someone access as long as they have the link. So it's anyone with the link, copy the link and then click on save. So now we would change this link. We'll edit the link. And instead of being taken to Canva, they'll be taken to the document that's here in the Google Drive. All right, so again, that's not for people who are trying to make changes. That's just delivering it using Google Drive, okay? If you want them to be able to make changes selling it on Google Drive, I mean, or, or delivering it using Google Drive, then you would still send this document, but then you would download this document into Google Drive, and then you'd have this link still taking them to Canva, all right? So I hope that's that's clear. Just remember, anytime you want them to be able to edit the document, you want this to have a direct link to their to the document that's inside of Canva. Okay. Otherwise, you want this link, the product link, to take you directly to the product, directly to the PDF. So if you have any other questions about this, definitely leave them in the comments below. But basically, the bottom line is if you want them to be able to make changes in Canva, you're going to have to send them a link. You want to share them a link to the actual product. In order to share the link to the product, you want to send them a PDF so that they can actually get that link, right? But just sending it in a document like this is just a nice way to, you know, show your shop off, to show your branding, um, to, you know, let them see other offerings you may have in your shop. Um, yeah, and it's, it's just a nice way to do it. So if you actually want a copy of this template to use and kind of customize for yourself, um, I'll leave a link to this in the, um, in the description, and then you can kind of play around with it and customize it for your shop and maybe try delivering some of your digital products that way. All right. So I hope that's helpful. And again, if you have questions, leave them in the comments. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing. And if you got any value from this, or if you liked the video, please go ahead and like it. All right. That's going to do it for me. Um, until the next video.